Chapter 315, Sect Destruction. A flame essence was an amazingly powerful natural force. In normal circumstances, when it was a highly potent medium-grade human step flame essence, one would have to be a late Haushan master from a sect, or a peak Haushan master to absorb it. Not only that, but one would usually need the assistance of some rare treasure like the glacial ice divine spring. But Lin Ming was currently relying entirely on his own powerful body and strength to forcibly tame this flame essence. His advantage was that his meridians were incomparably tough, but the burning pain still felt like he was being roasted from the inside out, spreading through his body like a tide. Lin Ming revolved his azure true essence to protect his meridians. The azure true essence was endless, even after being burned away by the flames, it would quickly regenerate. With such support, Lin Ming began to stamp out the flames that rampaged through his meridians. Each time, the flame essence would weaken, but the heretical god Si would grow stronger. Under this reversal, another quarter hour passed and Lin Ming was finally able to take complete control of the situation. Now, Absorbing the earth core crimson flame was only a matter of time, kai kai kai. The heretical god sees flame essence danced excitedly, greedily devouring all of the power of fire and constantly growing. To a normal martial artist, a flame essence was no different from a weapon. Once a weapon was forged, its grade was already decided. Later, when they became stronger, they would have to replace their weapon just like they replaced a flame essence. But this situation would never occur with a heretical god seed. The flame essence could absorb other flame essences and grow from them. An hour later, Lin Ming used his soul force to tow a tiny amount of crimson flame through his meridians. These were the final dredges of the power of fire in his meridians, and they had fully integrated within him. With the enhancement of his fusion compatibility, the earth core crimson flame became increasingly lively. The absorption has finally ended. Lin Ming let out a light breath, and absorbed all of the leftover flames into the heretical god seed. Then a vast power of fire erupted from within, integrating with the fire origin energy he had gathered while cultivating the vermilion bird forbidden divine chronicle. There was a slight popping sound, as if something had cracked apart, and Lin Ming was surprised. Then, he was ecstatic. He had finally broken through to the middle pulse condensation period. He had finally made his breakthrough. With the little bit of medicinal strength left over from the heaven opening pill, the absorption of the flame essence, and also the month-long high-intensity cultivation within Ancestor Kai Yen's mountain range, these three factors had come together and enabled him to complete his breakthrough. It had been a long and difficult process. If he were a normal martial artist, things wouldn't have been so troublesome. After taking a heaven opening pill, as long as his body didn't explode from the energy, then he would be able to rush to the late pulse condensation period or even the peak pulse condensation period in a single go. This was the price Lin Ming had to pay in order to lay down the most solid of foundations. Every time he made a breakthrough, he would have to pay two times, or even three times the cost of a normal martial artist. It wasn't only Lin Ming, but also sect geniuses like Zhang Bei Yuan, Bei Xuxun, Qin Wuxun, and others. Before they reached the Xianxin realm, they would have to make a perfect breakthrough at every stage. This was also why they were superior talents that could fight above their ranks, and the reason they were leagues above any common martial artist. If there was ever a day that their talent was insufficient to carry them to a complete breakthrough, then that would be the signal that they had reached the end of their cultivation road. In the future, it would be exceedingly difficult to reach a higher realm. After breaking through to the middle pulse condensation period, Lin Ming needed to remove all the impurities in his body that he had recently acquired. He readied himself to return to the Seven Profound Valleys so he could calmly cultivate. While he was there, he would also learn the Mirage Faction's camouflage techniques and explore the mystery of Zhang Bei Yun's spiritual attack. The southern wilderness was quite close to Lin Ming's hometown. But, he could not visit his hometown on the way back. He was alone, and now with Uang Boyan prowling at the edges, he didn't want to be exposed to the public. Doing so would only invite danger towards his family. If Lin Ming didn't kill Uang Boyan, his heart would never be at peace. Lin Ming sighed, and then whistled loudly into the air. The winged flood dragon was called down, and Lin Ming jumped onto its back, flying straight in the direction of the seven profound valleys. However, sometimes matters never proceeded as one planned. Everything was up to the whim of fate. Lin Ming never thought that while he was returning to the sect, there would be a shocking event that would affect Divine Phoenix Island and the 193rd Great Sex, and also an event that would change the climate of the entire South Horizon region. Two days later, Lin Ming sat on the winged flood dragon's back, flying at full speed towards the seven profound valleys. A strong heavenly wind blew against him, his clothes flapping in the wind, and his black hair wildly dancing in the air. At this moment, a bright flame suddenly lit in front of Lin Ming. The flame flashed, and was quickly flown past by the winged flood dragon. Sound transmitting talisman? Lin Ming was stunned. He was still in the remote lands of the Seven Profound Territory. The only one that could use, or would be willing to use a sound transmitting talisman at this time to find him would be Mukaini'u. Such a super long distance sound transmitting talisman had an astronomical price, even Mukaini'u wouldn't casually use one. What sort of important matter had happened? She actually used a super long distance sound transmitting talisman to contact him? After several breaths, the fuzzy and intermittent voice of Mukaini'u resounded in Lin Ming's ear. In a single night, the moon seizing sect was destroyed. Over 90% of their sect has perished. The entire region has broken out with vicious beast tides. This is absolutely the work of the South Sea Demon Region's Beast Control Clan Sovereign. Remember to be careful. Lin Ming was stunned. The Moon Seizing Sect was destroyed in a single night? How did this happen? The Moon Seizing Sect was one of the 19th Third Grade Sects under the jurisdiction of Divine Phoenix Island. In terms of strength, 
They couldn't compare to the seven profound valleys, but they ultimately were still a third grade sect, and probably had no less than a hundred Zionshin masters, and most likely even a revolving core elder who commanded them. But they had actually been destroyed in a single night. The South Sea Demon region was actually the first to make a move. After Lin Ming overcame his shock, he realized what the intention of the South Sea Demon region was. It was to destroy the alliance between Divine Phoenix Island and the 19 third grade sects. The Moon Seizing sect was closest to the South Sea Demon region. As long as five or six revolving core masters crossed the sea and snuck into the Moon Seizing sect, they would be destroyed overnight. The South Sea Demon region was temporarily unable to move against Divine Phoenix Island. But, if they wanted to act against these third grade sects, who could stop the combined power of five to six revolving core masters? If the South Sea Demon region could exterminate the Moon Seizing sect, then that meant they could similarly exterminate the seven profound valleys. Maybe only a top third grade sect like the Fallen Cloud sect or Peacock Mountain would be able to barely defend themselves. Like this, the alliance of Divine Phoenix Island and the 19 third grade sects would be in imminent danger. If Divine Phoenix Island couldn't protect the other third grade sects, then who wouldn't be afraid after having the tragic extermination of a fellow third grade sect placed in front of them? If Divine Phoenix Island was defeated by the South Sea Demon region, then the South Sea Demon region would be the absolute rulers of the entire Divine Phoenix territory. The third grade sects might be able to maintain a pitiful existence in that situation. But, if they joined hands with Divine Phoenix Island and resisted them, they might not be able to see the next dawn. Thinking this, Lin Ming couldn't help but be frightened. The South Sea Demon region was truly a demonic clan. Their actions and conduct were decisively ruthless and brutal. Without any delay, or even having sent a warning, they had directly eliminated an entire sect. Not only was a sect exterminated, but the Beast Control Clan had also acted, stirring up a massive vicious beast tide. There were countless stories of the terrors and dangers of these vicious beast tides found within the ancient historical texts. For all these tens of thousands of years, there had been countless countries within Sky Spill Continent that had been destroyed by a vicious beast tide. In fact, the reason that the Na tribe of the Southern Wilderness had been destroyed by the Fireworm tribe was because they had been weakened by a vicious beast tide. Beast tide. Lin Ming's heart suddenly shook. This was bad. His Lin family was located in Green Mulberry City. South of Green Mulberry City were the Green Mulberry Mountains. And the mountains continued thousands of miles south, reaching into the Southern Wilderness. The surrounding area of the Green Mulberry Mountains was nothing worth speaking of, but if one went deep in, there were exceedingly formidable vicious beasts. Once a vicious beast tide erupted, then the city that lay at the foot of the mountains would bear the brunt of their rampage. This was Green Mulberry City. Thinking this, Lin Ming sucked in a breath of cold air. He had to return home immediately. Green Mulberry City was his hometown, and was no different than his very roots. He could not see his hometown destroyed. As the year ended, and the new year began, the weather started to become warmer with each day, and the fields of snow and ice melted into the ground. The lush world began to regenerate. The trees were thick with vibrant green leaves, and all sorts of little animals began to happily prance through the forests. This deep valley was like a magical paradise. But, what very few knew was that within this deep valley, there was a relay station that was set up by the seven profound valleys. In truth, this so-called relay station was actually the central transit point of a transmission array. With the background of the seven profound valleys, it was difficult for them to create many long-distance transmission arrays that could span several hundred thousands of miles. So they had to set up transmit points along the way. These relay stations had masters guarding them all year round. Currently, the deacon station there was Liu Yushan, a master whose cultivation had reached the late Haoshan realm. Beyond the relay station, the land was full of flowers and sun, just like a perfect spring day. But within the relay station, there was an extremely heavy aura. Yu Yushan frowned. At this moment, his head was lowered, as if he were thinking of something. Suddenly, a clear roar sounded out from the sky. Yu Yushan looked up to see the shadow of a winged dragon-shaped creature pass above him, steadily and swiftly soaring down from the sky, shooting past between two mountains and disappearing. Yu Yushan didn't even have time to determine just what had happened, when he saw a black figure jump down from the sky, slowly falling onto the ground. This just-arrived black-clothed youth seemed to be around 17 or 18 years old and the sharp contours of his face seemed to hide a sharp energy that made one's heart race. Yu Yushan's pupils shrank. This person was. Yu Yushan? Lin Meng shook a little token in his hand. This pure gold token was a seven profound seal that only direct disciples of the seven profound valleys had. Yu Yushan was shocked. Direct disciple? As a deacon of a relay station, his status was inferior to Huoyuo Nation's seven profound martial house master. As for those lofty characters like the direct disciples that had a status comparable to an elder, that was truly a remote existence. Huoyuo Nation relay station deacon Yu Yushan greets sir. At this time, Lin Ming was near desperation. It was like his heart was on fire. So he spared the needlessly complicated rituals and directly asked, Liu Yushan, I ask you, has a vicious beast tide erupted within Sky Fortune Kingdom? Liu Yushan was the one who managed this relay station, and this relay station was also used to share news. Also, this place wasn't too far from Sky Fortune Kingdom. It was very likely that he would be the first to receive any news. Reporting to Sir. This subordinate hasn't received any news. Vicious beast tides have risen up throughout the entire Seven Profound Territory. Requests for help are like snowflakes in a winter storm. The Seven Profound Valleys is overwhelmed with requests at this moment. The Seven Profound Territory was extremely large. In comparison, the Seven Profound Valleys was very small. There were between 100 and 200 Zianjin Masters, and over a thousand Haoshin Masters. If the pulse condensation of disciples and normal disciples were counted, then there might be just under 20,000 people in total. 
Where would they have the manpower to quell the problems of the 36 countries and also keep enough people to defend their sect, so that they wouldn't be destroyed overnight? Lin Ming let out deep breath. There wasn't news from Sky Fortune Kingdom, but right now, no news was also good news. He hesitated for a moment, and then said to Liu Yushan, Deacon Liu, if I could trouble you to send a message to the Seven Profound Valleys Total Faction and ask if they could send some help to Sky Fortune Kingdom. It is fine as long as they are at the Pulse Condensation Period. 